All aboard for North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. He's headed to Russia on an armored train, U.S. and South Korean media reporting Monday. The trip marking Kim's first visit abroad in more than four years. Both Pyongyang and Moscow now confirming Kim will visit Russia. The Kremlin saying the meeting is at Russian President Vladimir Putin's invitation and that Kim Jong-un will pay an official visit to Russia in the coming days. Here's how the U.S. State Department is characterizing Putin's expected sit-down with the North Korean leader. You see him traveling across his own country, hat in hand, to beg Kim Jong-un for military assistance. The high-profile summit is set to come roughly a year and a half since Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. American officials have said the pair would discuss possible arms deals to boost Russia's war effort and provide North Korea with a much-needed economic and political lifeline. Last week, the White House warning... Providing weapons to Russia for use on the battlefield to attack grain silos and the heating infrastructure of major cities as we head into winter uh, to try to conquer territory that belongs to another sovereign nation. This is not going to reflect well on North Korea, and they will pay a price for this uh, in the international community. A possible location for the leaders meeting is a Russian port city where Putin arrived Monday for the Eastern Economic Forum. It's the same spot where Putin first met with Kim in 2019. And at the train station of that possible host city in Russia's Far East, there is a heavy security presence that's been spotted, according to South Korean media, with a large number of police officers, soldiers, and of service dogs. Now, as for what we can expect from that meeting with Kim and Putin, a Kremlin spokesperson is saying Monday that an official dinner is planned. That's on behalf of the president of Russia in honor of their guest from North Korea. Melissa Duggan. City News.